Welcome back to our build series. Uh, we're gonna be taking you guys through the initial concept of the building through the finish. And today we're gonna be talking about the insulation and the, th the sheathing that we're gonna be putting up. As you can see, we've got a lot about three quarters of the of the sheathing putting up. What we're working on now is just the dock portion and finishing up the doors that connect to the other building that we're attaching to. So we're gonna go on inside, show you guys how we're sheathing it, how we're doing the insulation, and kind of how conceptually this, this building goes together. So we'll take you guys inside. Now that we're inside, we're looking at our sheathing and our insulation detail. So what has to happen when we're installing the insulation is we take the insulation and these come out in 36 by 24 foot rolls. We'll put a screw in the top to hold the insulation. Then we'll take our 36 inch sheet of sheathing and put it over there. Now we have a screw detail that we'll take you guys on the outside and show you, but we're gonna connect to these purlins that go along the whole length of the building at six foot intervals. So the guys will go through, find their spots, snap lines, and screw it all through there. Once we come to the inside, what we'll do is we'll come here, and it's hard to see, but we'll come here and we'll tape all these seams for the insulation so the building gets nice and sealed once we put the roof on. So we're heading back outside. We're gonna show you guys our screw detail because like I said, we've got our purlins coming all the way across and that's where we're supposed to attach to. So as we have these purlins intermittently, you can see we've got one at the bottom because we're gonna connect. We've got one intermittently for where the sheet overlays. And then we've got these other screw patterns every six foot as we go up the building. That's just the intermittent detail that we've been given from the engineer or the engineer manufacturer on this project. And here's our bats of insulation that are R19. So these are I don't know, 36 inches by 16 and a half feet. I think I said that they were 24, but they're gonna be a little bit longer over there and they're gonna get shorter kind of as this concrete stepped over on that back north side. But they're all labeled for us around the doors. Now at this point, we don't have the roof on. And the reason for that is that when it snows in the winter, when it, when it melts, it comes down, the water comes down onto the guys when they're trying to insulate and sheet it. If we're in the fall, spring, or summer, we'd put the roof on first. But in this winter type of application, we're gonna go ahead and put the walls on first and then put the roof on so that it doesn't leak all over the guides when they're, when they're installing the walls. All right. Now, one of, the things that we didn't, one of the things that we didn't talk about last time as well, that the, guys are, that the guys are finishing up, is all the bridging and cross bracing. So they've came from all the way over here, squared it up. That's why they started the walls where they did out of that north corner, and they worked all the way this way. So what they're doing is finishing up all the bridging and X bracing here. I know that that's the last part that we hadn't talked about uh, in our erection process but they're just finishing it up now. Uh, and then looks like the next, uh, the next milestone that we'll be talking about is actually starting the roof with the insulation and then the roof sheathing. So what the guys are doing right now is they're trimming out these doors. These are the four dock doors because this is a freight operation. So these are the four dock doors that they're expanding their operation to. And so right now they're just trimming it out. So when they go to drop those panels, they've got, they've got a channel to actually go into. And then the guys right here, they're setting up the last portions of the purlins so that they can go ahead and finish up all the insulation and sheathing on this. This drip edge uh, is here and I almost forgot to actually talk about it. This drip edge runs about six inches up. And what that does is if snow builds up here, which I think this is gonna be graded back just a little bit more, if snow builds up here, that snow isn't gonna get through this drip edge, like I said, which is about six inches up, so that it always covers it and always shields this building from any of the water or the snow that tries to get in. Here's a better detail of that drip edge. And as you can see, we're about four to six inches up here. We've got double-sided tape. We've got this grommet here that goes in between these ribs. And so that keeps, a, that keeps a barrier from actually getting any moisture or water 
up in here because it has to get through this and then through this grommet here. So that's just the actual detail pulled back from the sheathing and insulation. And what we've done on these corners, as you can see, if I'm, if I'm running flush here, we've ran these corners about two and a half to three inches past on the inside of this building. So what'll happen is, is that these sheets will come through and we'll throw a caulk bead in here. And then that way, this is, has extra two to three inches of protection going through into the building. And then this will all get caulked and grommeted. Here's a nice assembly that the guys put together. So we've got the inside of the garage door right here. We've got the channel here. And as you can see, here's a side detail of that channel coming up. So you're not gonna get any snow or rain in here because we're housed under. So what this is gonna do, this is just a nice protectant and a nice way that these guys put this corner together. It's just, it's just a purlin. So basically, you know, I'm not necessarily sure how this is supposed to look or, you know, look pretty or anything else like that. This is just basically to catch this outside drip edge. When we're coming on a vertical, I don't know how necessarily how to show it without actually drawing it, but that this is going to be planed out with the concrete on the in or on the outside over here and that drip edge is going to come through. So it's just, it's going to go down anyways. This isn't the prettiest uh, portion of the build and, and on the purlin. I mean, obviously you can see here, it's not something that's going to matter uh, when it comes to, when it comes to any of the weather coming in or anything else like that, because it's all protected over here. So these, these will eventually be framed out and it'll be drywalled, insulated, all that kind of stuff. So all this is, is to just catch that flush part of the drip edge on the outside. So this is actually just going to be flush with this outside of this concrete and then that's going to fold over to be flush with it with that outside of that concrete and then just catch that trim. So it's almost going to it's almost going to be like a counter flash on the outside. So this is what our outside corners are gonna look like with that concrete and that flush brick. Hey guys, wanted to take a quick second. Uh, we noticed in the post of this video that this trim didn't look so nice. Uh, so what's actually gonna end up happening is this trim is gonna end up being extended here and cut flush with this other counter flash that's going there. Um, our concepts in the video are correct. It's just this trim was installed incorrectly. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that. Wanted to make that note before you guys watch the rest of the video. So we've got a counter flash over here and then we have a kind of a stop for our sheathing that goes right in here. So we've gotta have enough room that if this groove went into here, just by the spacing of it, that there will be enough room to actually fit this. Right now, it's just going into a flat portion of it, so it's just it just has to fit like that. But like I said, we have a counter flash in here that's going to that's going to not necessarily wick away any water, but this is going to fold over. Nothing's going to get in here. This will be a caulk seam, and then it'll and then it'll flash out and it'll drain out this bottom. And then here's our side detail of our sheathing and our insulation. So basically, you can just see we've attached it. We ran it all the way from top to bottom, dropped it down. We had double-sided tape that the guys peel off. And as they're, as they're running it down, they peel off that double-sided tape so that, so that this sticks so that they can grab that panel and put it up there. So right here, we're screwing it to the purlins. We're dropping this down, pulling the double-sided tape and then coming here, taking these 36 inch sheets and just putting them right at the bottom of this drip edge and then just sending it up to the top. So here's a side cut of it. One of the last things I wanna look at is I'm not necessarily sure what the ceiling detail is for these dock doors. So we're gonna go right next door and just see what, what they are. 
All right, so coming into this dock that's just right next door, it's, it's the exact same uh, freight company that we're doing work for. What they did in here, and it's not on our spec, was they dropped nets. I'm assuming the nets are for birds in here, but for right now, all that it is is uh, insulation and then roof sheathing. So it looks like that's probably the same spec for ours, but we may well be asked to put up uh, bird netting so that they can't get up there. So as you guys can see, we got a few more days. Uh, to do the sheathing and insulation over here. Just trimming out in the, in the dock doors right now. Uh, that should be done in the next few days. After that, uh, our last milestone, besides just trimming out the place, is going to be the insulation and roof sheathing. Uh, that'll take a little bit more time. We'll take you guys through the process of that, uh, but inevitably it, it might be a couple videos uh, that, we, that we definitely do on that. Um, then, then we'll take you guys through a, a finished uh, video showing you guys everything that we have conceptually with the milestones. Um, if you guys have any comments, questions, uh, don't forget to leave them below. We'd be more than happy to answer for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe uh, so you guys can follow along with our build series. We've got a couple more things in the works uh, with regards to some of our general contracting stuff. They're going to be smaller build outs, design builds, kind of things like that. Uh, so we'll be more than happy to, uh, to take you guys through those. Uh, but as always, take care. We'll see you guys in the, uh, in the next video.